Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about basic concepts in mathematics, the language of sets, which involves solving set operations. This is the part 3 of the language of sets. In solving set operations using Venn diagram, the following are the steps to be followed. First, we need to determine what is given and what are being asked. Second, we need to illustrate using the Venn diagram. Third, determine what operation to be used. Fourth, use the operations. And fifth, answer the question being asked. So these are the steps on how to solve problems involving uh, set operations using Venn diagram. Now, if you are already uh, master in doing these steps, you can, you can directly draw the Venn diagram and answer the given questions. So here in example number one, we will try to use the step-by-step -step on how to solve problems involving set operations. So example number one, in a junior high school, 200 students were randomly selected. 140 liked tea, 120 liked coffee, and 80 liked both tea and coffee. So these are the questions. So how many students liked only tea? Second, uh, B, how many students like only coffee? Letter C, how many students like neither tea or coffee? So step number one, we need to determine what is given and what is being asked. So the, uh, the given are 200 junior high school students who were randomly selected, 140 of them who liked tea, 120 who liked coffee, and 80 students who liked both tea and coffee. So when what is asked, so how many students like only tea? How many students like only coffee? And a letter C, how many students like neither tea nor coffee? So step number two, let's illustrate the Venn diagram. So let T be the set of students who like only tea. Let C, set of students who like only coffee. And let X be the students who like uh, neither tea nor coffee. Step number four, we draw the Venn diagram. So when you draw a Venn diagram, you make... Uh, a square and then that is your universal set and then you make a two circles that intersects so uh, since in the statement uh, 80 students who like both tea and coffee so you will uh, you will put 80 in the uh, intersection uh, in the, uh, in the side where they intersect the tea and uh, coffee circles and then to obtain tea so all we need to do is we need to subtract so it stated there that 140 students who like only tea. So since the students who like tea, uh, students who like tea, we said we will subtract or minus the students who like both tea and coffee, so that we can identify the students who like tea only. So that means 140 minus 80. That is the students who like tea. That is 60 students who like tea. And then next, to obtain the uh, C or uh, the students who uh, uh, who like coffee, so all we need to do, since it's stated there in the given, 120 students like coffee. So that means we need, just need to subtract 120 to the uh, students who like both tea and coffee. So we have now 120 minus 80, we have 40 students who like coffee. Obtain the number of students or to obtain X, no? So all we need to do is we just need to subtract 200. That is the number of students who uh, who ask randomly. Subtract the to the total value of the students who like tea and coffee, to like tea only and to like coffee only so we have 60 plus 40 plus 80 we have 180 so 200 minus 180 that is 220 so that means 20 is the set of students who like neither tea nor coffee that that means uh they don't like coffee and tea so that means uh you will put that 
inside of the universal set but outside of the circles. So the question is how many students like only T? So here is the students who like only T, so 60 students. And the students who like coffee only, so we have 40 students. And how many students like ni neither tea nor coffee? That means we had 20 students. Okay? So, uh, in, uh, in identifying or solving problems involving set operations using Venn diagram, all you need to do, class, is we need to put first uh, the, inter the intersection of the, or their common of, uh, the common of all the given sets or the given elements. For example, here, so it's stated there that 80 students you know, like tea and coffee. So first, you will input 80 in the intersections side. So that means here, right? And then in finding the students who like tea only, so you subtract the given number of students who like tea to the students who like both tea and coffee so that you can find the students who like tea only. Same with in finding the uh, students who like coffee only. So all you need to do is you just need to subtract the given which is 120 minus 80 to the students who like both coffee and tea so that we can identify the students uh, who can, uh, who like coffee only. So um, before, uh, I mean like to identify to check you ju just need to check first if the total number of students uh, is equal to the given number of students no uh, who asked randomly for example we have here 80 plus 40 so 120 plus 60 we have 180 but in the statement there there are 200 students uh, who uh, who asked randomly or who asked randomly so that means there are 20 students uh, who don't like both coffee and tea. So that means 20 students uh, like neither tea nor coffee. So we have now example number two. A group of 25 high school students were asked whether they used either Facebook or Twitter or both. So 15 students uh, who used Facebook, 12 students who used Twitter, and two students used both. Facebook and Twitter. So the question, how many students use Facebook only? How many students use Twitter only? And how many students use both social networking site, which is Facebook and Twitter? So first, so uh, we can already know no the given and then what is asked. So all we need to do is we need to draw the Venn diagram. So you need to do a square. So on, since, I know, uh, it stated there that Facebook and Twitter uh, tw Twitter networking sites lang, it stated there. So you need to uh, draw two, two circles intersecting, no? So that means in here, in the intersection part, that means uh, the students who both used Facebook and Twitter. So it's stated there in the statement or in the problem that two students used both social networking, so you will put two there. So for the Facebook, so students used Facebook, so all you need to do is subtract 15 to the uh, two students who used both Facebook and Twitter so that we can identify 15 uh, the students uh, who used Facebook only. So 15 minus 2, we have 13. And then next, uh, in the same in Twitter, so you just need to subtract 12 students who used Twitter to both students who used Twitter and Facebook. So 12 minus 2, we have 10. So uh, let's add, let's try to add them up. So we have 13 plus 2, we have 15 plus 10, 25. So that means there are no students who, uh, who do not use uh, no social networking sites. So the question, how many students who used Facebook? So there are 13 students only who used Facebook. How many students use Twitter only? So there are 10 students who use Twitter only. And then how many students used both Facebook and Twitter? So there are two students who used Facebook and Twitter. Okay, let's go to our last example, example number three. So 50 students went for a tour in Caraga region. So there are 24 students who visited Britannia, 18 students who visited Enchanted River, 20 students who went to Tinoy and Falls. 
and then 12 students who joined the trip to Britannia and Enchanted River, 15 students who went to Enchanted River and Tinoy and Falls, and then 11 students who went to Britannia and Tinoy and Falls. 10 students who visited the three tourist spot. So first, we need to do is we need to draw the Venn diagram. So make a square there, and that is your universal set. So how many tourist spots uh, it's stated in the problem? So we have Britannia, Enchanted River, and Tinoy and Falls. So we will make three circles. So this circle is Britannia. Intersecting uh, both three circles must be intersect. So we have uh, Enchanted River. Next, we have Britan uh, Tinoy and Falls. So first, you will plot uh, the student's who visited the three tourist spots so in the center where both of the uh where three of the tourist spots uh, no, visited so that means here no so that means there are 10 students who visited the three tourist spots next pasaka class so 11 students now who went to britannia and tinoy and falls so which part of there is the intersection of Britannia and Tinoy and Falls. So, Britannia and Tinoy and Falls. So, that means here. So, it's stated there 11 students daw. So, we need to subtract 11 to 10, which is the uh, the students who visited the three student spots. So, 11 minus 10. So, there are uh, one students only who visited both Britannia and uh, Tinoy and Falls. Next, we have 15 students who went to Enchanted River and Tinoy and Falls. So, where is the Enchanted River? Here. And the Tinoy and Falls here. So, where are their intersections? So, this, this here. So, 15 students. So, 15 minus 10. No, 15 minus 10. So, we have 5 students. Next, we have 12 students who joined the trip Britannia and Enchanted River. So, 12 minus 10. So, we have two students uh, uh, who joined Britannia and Enchanted River. Now, let's identify how many students who went uh, to Tinoy and Falls only. So, that means here lang, not Tinoy and Falls only. So, it's stated here that 20 students went to Tinoy and Falls. So, all we need to do is in the circle of the Tinoy and Falls, so you need to sum it up and then subtract to the stated a number of students there so we have 10 plus 5 plus 1 so we have 16 so 20 minus 16 so there are four students only who visited Tinoy and Falls now in the 18 students now who went to Enchanted River so we have Enchanted River so this part so in the and the circle who belong to or the the number of students who belong in who went to Enchanted River, so you need to sum them up. So we have 10 plus 5 plus 2, so we have 17. So 18 minus 17, so there are one student only who went to Enchanted River only. Next in Britannia, so you just need to add 10 plus 2 plus 1, so 13. 24 minus 13, so there are 11 students who went to Britannia only. Okay. Now, it's stated there that there are 50 students who went in the tour in Caraga region. So, let's check if the total number of students here is equal to 50. And then if not equal to 50, so let's try to sum this up. Then we subtract to 50. And that means there, uh, there, are, six to, uh, there are students who did not went to Britannia, Enchanted River, and the Tinoy and Falls. So, let's try to add. So, 10, we have 10, 5, 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 plus 11, 30, so 30 plus 4, 34. So there are 34 students all in all. So since it's stated here that 50 students daw ang ni went to tour in Karagi region, so 50 minus 34, so we have 16 students who did not went to Britannia, Enchanted River, and Tinoy and Falls. So let's try to... Uh, Answer the question. So, how many students went to Britannia only? So, there are 11 students. How many students who went to Enchanted River only? So, we have one student lang. And then, how many joined the Tinoy An Falls? Uh, so, we have here only Tinoy An Falls only na. That 
there are four students only. And then how many students did not go into any of the tourist spots? So there are 16 students all in all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye.